Welcome back to the show and uh, it's time to really discuss uh, the budget impact on one asset class which is part equity, part uh, fixed income, REITs as well as invents uh, which have really gained prominence over the last few years. Now as the budget proposes from the next financial year which is 1st April 2023, well all distribution of income as repayment of debt now is made taxable. What does it really mean for the industry as well as what is the clarity on that? Let's find out from one of the industry experts, Harsha, the CEO of India Grid uh, Trust, which is a listed invent, joins us now on the show. Harsh, always a pleasure to welcome you on CNBC TV 18. First, help us understand what does this really mean and uh, is uh, are a lot of REITs and INVITs uh, really structured in debt repayment when it comes to the cash distribution and how does it impact the industry? Is it adverse? I think it uh, does have an adverse impact on the industry for sure. Um, repayment of capital is a usual part of the business. It's like depreciation getting pay, paid back to unit holders and that's how the INVITs and REITs perform of entire cash flow being passed to unit holders. And they're obligated to do it under SEBI regulations. Now, if that gets taxed, it's uh, certainly an adverse uh, reaction to the industry. And uh, I do believe we'll all uh, see clarification, but there's certainly adverse impact. All right. Uh, so when we are talking about uh, the implementation of this tax, Harsh, uh, how will it be now calculated and what will be the exact material impact? Can you help us with that? And do we have all the clarifications in terms of computing that tax component now? We unfortunately do not have clarity and the language that is mentioned in the uh, memo is not really very clear about it. And that's something which is throwing confusion. At one end, it's specifying the rationale that yes, there's, there is no rationale of having zero level tax at the SPV and in the hands of unit holders, which is fair. However, um, on the other side of the regulation, it speaks about uh, if it is paid out of redemption of unit, in that scenario, it is going to be adjusted from cost of acquisition, which is what most of us are doing right now. Now, it is giving a confusing message uh, because if you redeem a unit, there's nothing like a part redemption. But I think industry would need clarification with this regard because neither the intention nor the implementation is clear in the act uh, as it is spelled out right now. All right, so that is one clarification which is sought, but uh, what my understanding has been is that only the cash distribution component, which is essentially an income to companies like yours, and then not being taxed as, because it falls under the debt repayment category, is getting taxed in the hands of the unit holders because it needs to be taxed somewhere. Dual non-taxation is what um, the finance ministry is trying to plug here. So that's the basic understanding, but let's talk about about your company, it's a listed uh, in Vithash. How does it stand to uh, really get impacted? What will be your impact on cash distribution now? The tax component on unit holders and what portion of your distribution really goes as part of debt repayment, which will now be taxable? In Indigrade, it's uh, we're not materially or other we're not impacted at all. We have over the last five years or six, almost six years, we have just distributed about five rupees of distribution as a capital repayment and that that rate is not increasing so it's going to be very limited half a rupee or rupee annually that we have distributed as capital so i don't see that impacting indigrid per se in a material manner because it's we have been distributing very very limited amount and that is different for each REIT and invit because the capital structure is different for each REIT and invit for us the impact is almost negligible as, as a listed entity Right. Uh, but so, yeah. We need clarification because we still need to be complied with the law and how it's going to be implemented. All right. So as per the numbers that I have, Harsh, uh, right now, some of the REITs and invits have devolved as much as even 90% and 80%. Uh, of their total cash distribution in the form of debt repayment, while uh, yours is in early double uh, figures at the moment is what I ha have. But uh, one important clarification that the ones who have structured their entire cash distribution component heavily based on debt repayment, how big a task will it be to restructure it? Will it be a tall task and uh, can this be done easily? What is your sense on that? 
No, I think it's it's extremely difficult to unwind the capital structure uh, yeah. on the company back. It's not that something can be converted to other instruments just like that. Uh, and then therefore, it's worrisome because, uh, again, conceptually, nobody is saying there should be zero level tax, but debt repayment has never been taxed. It's like asking banks that when you get a principal back, you're going to be taxed. So it's it's conceptual clarity is needed on what, what are we trying to tax exactly. All right, Harsha, a lot of clarity really coming in from you, but we'll wait for some of those confusion and clarification sought from the ministry also as the budget uh, gets digested. And for the benefit of our viewers, uh, some of uh, the REITs and INVITs do devolve a large part of their distribution, which is 90% of the income, uh, cash income needs to be